All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah HaKadash, the honest, the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Now, this is the brother Yeshaya, part of Minna Valor, uh, South Carolina. Now, this lesson right here is going to be a quick, um, you know, um, quick uh, comic board edification, um, you know, for lack of a better title. Um, and it's going to be based off this brother, um, Amawan Gabar. Uh, this is his uh, page right here, GMS Awakening 144 Hot. And uh, I'm Juan Gabar, and um, basically, uh, I, I stumbled upon this uh, uh, this uh, you know what he what he posted, you know, which is a very beautiful thing, uh, fast, pray, repent, repeat, you know, and uh, you know, the Lord gives us certain tools to you know get through this walk and to become um, more spiritual, come stronger in the faith, and uh, fasting and prayer. Are, are are two of the uh, tools, man. Uh, the two of the most important tools. <laughs> and the spirit has me, uh, you know, zoning in on them the last couple of weeks. But uh, long story short, I uh, looked at one of the uh, comments, and um, you had someone basically uh, downplaying the fast that uh, Daniel Daniel actually went on. Now you got certain people, you know, that think that when certain other prophets, you know. And even uh, you know, certain other prophets uh, fasted that they only that it was a, um, of course it's a spiritual thing, but they just abstained from their pleasures or you know, not actually the actual uh, of what they call a dry fast, which is abstaining from food and water for um, you know, a certain period. Okay, whether it be one day, two days, three days, whatever you know, the spirit allows. And um, just to get to this comment and show through the precepts that, you know, the uh, fast that uh, Daniel and, you know, the other prophets and even Yahusha himself went on was without food and without water. OK, so uh, here it is right here. This uh, this first comment, Yash Yasharal gatekeepers, it says he says Daniel or here. Yeah, he says Daniel's fast was obedience, not a fast. He abstained from meat to keep the law of the uh keep the law of the law by default, given the unclean meat indulgence of the Babylonians. A fast is when you anoint your head with oil, wash your uh face with water, and abstain from meal and drink for a prolonged period of time, given to prayer, not to uncleanliness, fleshly or impulsive desires, i.e. day of atonement. Uh yeah, he's he's right. Um, you know, a, a fast is when you abstain from meal and drink. OK, uh, but Daniel's fast was actually, you know, um, th that of uh, afflicting his soul, which when you fast and the fast that, you know, uh, at what they would call a bi biblical fast is abstaining from meat and drink. OK, now you got the second uh, comment The Daniel fast is a method of spiritual fasting based on the prophet Daniel's experience fasting according to the book of Daniel in the Bible. There are two passages uh, specifically that the Daniel fast is based on. Please test your service for 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Now, that's not, that, that's not a fast. That's what you would call a worldly fast. <laughs> you know, you got uh, a certain health uh, experts, so to say. So, you know, um, you know, yeah, there's different type of fast. You can go on a fruit fast, uh, uh, you know, a green smoothie fast. But we're talking about a biblical fast, an actual fast, which is abstaining from, which is no water and no uh, uh, drink. And, you know, within doing that, okay, it's a very spiritual thing because you're actually putting yourself on the level of an actual angel because the angels eat, they don't eat or drink. Okay, and we're in this flesh and the flesh needs to eat and drink to sustain itself, to survive. So when you deny yourself that, you're uh, afflicting your soul, and the Lord sees that, and that's when you get, uh, you know, more uh, revelations, you get, uh, you know, answers to questions, you uh, exercise demons that have a, a hold on you that you can't really, you know, uh, 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 break. Okay? So, yeah, man. Hey, and, uh, you know, it, uh, it is what it is. Uh, so let's see. uh 
Dave as a method of uh, spiritual. Uh, um, in those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant food nor meat. or wine came into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Uh, from his experience, Daniel was said to gain knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual understanding, favor, and even better appearance in addition to prayer Answered prayer and spiritual insight. So the idea behind the fast is that you would set aside other foods and focus on eating plant-based meals as an act of worship and sacrifice. And that's wrong, you know. Um, when you do a fast, okay, it's uh, no water and no drink. Okay, and that's what you call a dry fast. That's what you call, you know, basically a, 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 a you know, a, a biblical fast. That, that's the uh, actual fast when Yahweh... Bashim uh speaks of uh, fasting in, in these scriptures is actually talking about what you would call a dry fast. Okay. So without further ado, man, we're gonna go into uh the scriptures. Uh let's see. All right. All right, this is Daniel 10. Uh, chapter 1, in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar, and the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. Okay? I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. So you got a different type of fast. Uh, he was mourning. Um, right now, okay, when you, you and of course, when you go into the scriptures and when you, uh, especially when your house shot broke down fasting, um, he told you to anoint his head, uh, but anointing your head really, um, is just so that you don't come across as fasting. It's then, then that's when you know you got to be seen by people when you got to operate in daily, like, say, uh, you know, um, when brothers, you know, do the day of atonement and you have to work. You're not just going to go there and look crazy, okay? And, and, you know, I mean, and that's for certain brothers because certain brothers can do it, but some brothers can't. But uh, I say I'd like to say this. Basically, you know, it, it just depends on, you know, your relationship with the Lord and how he set your spirit up. But so for the brothers that uh, can do that and go to work, you know, uh, uh, brothers, uh, what, uh, like the elder Apostle Gabar says, brush your teeth, wash your face. You know what I'm saying? Just um, make your uh, outer, you know, look as pleasant as possible because you don't want anybody asking you questions like, hey, what's wrong with you? You all right? You know, and um, like this, like uh, Yahushua said, the hypocrites, uh, they do that and they have their reward. They want to uh, be seen by men. OK, so but this time right here, Daniel was, you know, he was mourning and, you know, he really uh, didn't care what nobody said or, you know, he was he was uh, in mourning. Okay, and he was seeking something from the Lord, and you know he uh, he uh, didn't you know, anoint himself, which is perfectly fine. But uh, you know, the uh, matter of the fact is that he didn't take in any food or any water. Okay, which is a a dry fast, aka a biblical fast. Now we're gonna go down to uh, verse uh, verse twelve. Then said he to me, "Fear not, Daniel." For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand. So, you know, um, if you're seeking understanding, um, you're seeking, you know, um, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you're, you're seeking whatever, you know, that's uh, very important to you. OK, a, uh, a way to expedite that, you know, <laughs> claim or expedite uh, that certain uh, request to the Lord is by fasting and by prayer. OK, and but fasting really will expedite it, because like I said before, you putting yourself on the level of an angel and you're abstaining from, um, you know, the, the, the most important thing the body needs is food and water. And you're showing the Lord that, you know, you're abstaining that you're flicking your soul. And, and you know, and the Lord loves when, when uh, you know, certain brothers do that, man. you know, uh, and he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy power, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. So, you know, hey, um, from the very first day that, uh, you know, he decided to fast, Yahweh Shemiah was uh, honored that. So let's go, let's... uh. 
let's see let's dig a little bit deeper into what you know afflicting your soul and you know chastening yourself is man this is the book of psalms chapter 69 and verse 10 when i wept and chastening my soul with fasting that was to my reproach so there you go when you're chastening your soul okay or when you flick your your soul or flick your spirit that's uh it's talking about fasting and this is the actual fast a biblical fast Okay, <laughs> like they like to say, not a not a uh, you know a, a fruit fast or, or I mean a sugar fast or you know where you abstain from eating uh you know uh, processed sugars and, and stuff like that. Uh, no, this is an actual fast where nothing goes into your mouth, no food, no drink, no water, and if you go even further, you know, um, you don't even brush your teeth, no listerine, no water, like gargle your mouth, no nothing, just a straight fast. That is what uh, the Bible defines as a fast okay and we go from the biblical definitions and what how about shim yahweh shah deems as whatever not what a man you know uh deems as you know whatever okay so um like i said i didn't want to make this long we're gonna go to the book of numbers chapter 29 and verse 7 and ye shall have on the tenth day of this seventh month and holy convocation. Now this is talking about uh the uh, uh day of atonement. Okay, and ye shall have on the tenth month of this seventh uh, uh slakia. and ye shall have on this tenth day of this seventh month and holy convocation, and ye shall afflict your souls, and ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord by sweet savior, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, they should be Unto you without a uh, blemish, uh. But yeah, you know, um, yeah, uh, you know, it's it's going into uh, you know, the uh, uh day of atonement, man. But you know, hey, uh, we we can't sacrifice uh certain you know animals, of course, you know. But hey, um, the 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 sacrifice that 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 we we do do is the the abstaining from the uh. The food and the drink, okay. That that's a sacrifice unto the Lord. You know, there's different ways to sacrifice unto the Lord, okay. And you know, um, yeah, uh, that's that's one of them, okay. The Day of Atonement, all right. Um, yeah, you know, and that's offering up your body as a living sacrifice. You know, um, part of that, okay. And you know, your house shot uh completed the actual, you know, um sacrifice of uh, animals he he that was the only law that's really done away with but he fulfilled it okay he says uh thank not that i come to destroy the law yay nay i come not to destroy but to fulfill okay uh leviticus chapter 23 and verse 32 and this shall be unto you a sabbath of rest i'm um, slacking uh yeah and this is another uh you know um and uh, this is Leviticus 23 and 26. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement, and it shall be a holy convocation unto you. And ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And like I said, you know, we don't do that on the day of atonement. We just uh, do the fast. And, you know, like the uh, apostles and the elders going to, we really don't technically have to do the day of atonement, but we do it as an act of faith. Okay? And we were rehearsing the righteous acts, right? Verse 28, and ye shall do no work in the same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement uh, for you before the Lord your power. And whatsoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Okay, so there you go, you know, um, got to afflict your souls, man. You know what I'm saying? Which uh, is, a, you know, a form of fasting, which is fasting. Okay, as I just read you know, um, in the book of Psalms, chapter uh, 69 and verse 10. Okay. Now, let's go to um, 2 Samuel, where King David uh, did a fast, and he, he didn't drink. I mean, he didn't eat or drink. It doesn't say drink, but, I mean, we can. Uh, it's safe to say we can add that in there. Uh, well, we can not add because we don't add anything to the scriptures, but, you know, sometimes the uh, scriptures won't say anything, but say it verbatim but you already know what it is uh second samuel chapter 2 and verse 12 uh no that's not it uh let's see uh, 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 uh. 
did it. Let's see, I think it's first sermon. Nah. Hmm. I just had it. I think it's uh second Samuel. Two. Alright, let's see. Uh let me find it because I I just had it. Bear with me really fast. Uh Let's see. Yeah, the second seventy twelve is down. Uh Yeah, yeah, here it is. Second uh, Samuel 12 and 19. But when David saw that his servants whispered, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore, David said to his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. Uh, Salaki, so let's see. Uh, here it is, verse 16. David therefore besought Yahweh for the child. And David fasted and went in and lay all night upon the earth. So he fasted, which means uh, he abstained from food and drink. And the elders of his house arose and went to him and raised him up from the earth. But he would not. Neither did he eat bread with them. So there you go. He didn't eat. Okay. And, you know, safe to say he didn't drink any water as well. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died. And the servants of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spoke, we spake unto him. And he would not hearken unto our voice. How will he then vex himself if he tell him that the child is dead? But when David saw that his servants whisper, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. And David arose from the earth and washed and anointed himself and changed his apparel and came into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he came to his own house. And when he required, they set bread before him and he did eat. Then said his servants unto him, What thing is this that thou hast done. Thou didst fast and weep for the child while it was alive, but when the child was dead, thou didst rise and eat bread. And he said, while the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept. And for I said, who can tell whether Yahweh would be gracious like it to me that the child will live. So there you go right there. Um, that fast is abstaining from uh, uh, food and drink, you know. And even uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, went through a fast. Okay. Uh, that forty days and forty nights where he is staying from water and uh food, and food and water, whatever, and uh, <laughs> you know, either way, and Yahusha being full of the Holy Spirit returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. So there you go, he fasted. Okay. Um. It's 40 days and 40 nights, just as uh, uh, Moses did on the mount, okay? And, you know, a, a, a biblical fast, a real fast is what you would call a dry fast, so to say, but it's abstaining from food and water altogether. So that's it. Um, hopefully, I was edifying, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukaha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the elect.